I'm here with Danny Queen, the poet, and I'm enjoying all his beautiful poetry. Oh, I just love your poetry. I'm telling you because, I mean, you touch bases on everything from Katrina, Rosa Parks, Coretta Scott King. I mean, is it anything you can't write about? Oh, uh, no, I, I try to be the type of writer that writes about any and everything. I try not to limit myself at all as to what I might say. I might talk about, well, one minute I might be talking about the astrological signs. Next minute I'll be talking about some political. Next minute I'm talking about Chaka City Cannon. Next minute I may be talking about the bling, bling blues. I don't know. I know that's no. right. But you touch bases on everything. Yes. And I understand you did a poem on Richard Pryor. Yeah, to me, Richard Pryor was a bona fide genius. You know, he was indeed a comic genius. And I think sometimes people don't really realize how deep he was. Because as with most comedians, a lot of times there's a lot of truth behind things they say. They may say it in a humorous way because that's the art form. Mm -hmm. But when you get beyond that, a lot of times it's based on a lot of truth because of Richard Pryor's life and how he grew up. I mean, it was, he was a great comedian. He was a great The way he grew up, because he grew up in a house, that, if you will, if people know that. I'm not saying anything people don't know. Mm -hmm. So that helped to shape his childhood, I think. But the way he grew up I had a lot to do with the person that he was. And that's, mm -hmm. I guess that's true of any of, us, any of us. But at the same time, Richard Pryor used his life. Yes. He used his life as his art form, as his base. Like, for instance, when he talked about Mudbone and Miss Rudolph and some, as some characters, he said that those characters are really people that, in a sense, he knew from real life. Right. So I wrote this piece here as a tribute to the great Richard Pryor, uh, 1940 to 2005. As a comic, he came up through a crack in the concrete with a Ph.D. in life from the University of the Street. As the freest black man of his day and time, like it or not, he spoke what was on his mind. The story behind his humor could leave you spellbound, for as the icon of comedy, he was profane but deeply profound. Like a loose cannon, half high and hazy, a comic genius at heart. But that Negro was crazy. He was brutally honest, blunt, streetwise, and raw, and through laugh and pain, told you what he saw. The prism of his world was his lifelong stage to laugh inside and keep the, and keep from crying to hide his rage. For the la for the love of laughter and the power to heal, his truth was plain spoken, but all too rare. Though prophetic yet profound, he was life's native son who spoke truth to power and more ways to run. Through bittersweet pain and personal demons as well, the stories of Mudbone were lessons from life he had to tell. The horror behind his humor could leave you spellbound, and as the icon of comedy, he was profane but deeply profound. Yes, he was, and Richard Pryor went through a whole lot, I'm telling you. He really did, but he, he bounced back. Yes, you know, he overcame whatever he was going through, and, and mm -hmm. that's what's important, and people out there need to know. It doesn't always have to stay there. You don't always have to yes. stay in that 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 lifestyle of what he went through. Well, let's talk a little bit about what he went and through. And you know, when you think about it, he brought a lot of joy to a lot of people. Yes, he did. Even though he was in pain himself yes. a lot of times yes. because of you know things that he did to himself and that, and that kind of thing. But he was in a lot of pain, but he brought a lot of joy to other people. I think Richard Pryor did what he was here on this planet to do yes. and to bring some joy to other people and to have some joy himself in his life. Because he especially made me laugh all the time. I mean, I loved Richard Pryor. It didn't take much for, no. for Richard to make you laugh, you know. Yeah. If I could tell this one little joke that Richard used to say, it's clean. Right. I know this is a yeah. family show. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Richard said that, uh, I remember Richard saying that um, he, how much he admired Dr. King. And Dr. King had said, you know, I went up to the promised land and looked over and saw the promised land. Right. And Richard said, yeah, I've been up to the promised land too. And I looked over and I saw more white folk and they all had guns. <laughs> Oh, now, I should just take this mic and hit Danny with it. Uh, Richard Pryor is something was, else. Sometimes he can say the simplest thing. Yeah. And sometimes just the expression on his face uh, would really, just the expression on his face sometimes would make you laugh because yeah. he just was a comic genius. That's yeah. in essence what I'm saying. Yeah. And that's a great poem to remember Richard Pryor by. Really, it is. You have any other poetry? Yes, 